Good morning. Happy Monday. Um, there's a little bit of a lag here, so I'm just going to make sure that internet and everything's working. Okay, I think we are on. So I'm just going to share. I haven't shared a haul here live in a while, so I thought I would get on this morning and share um, some of the things that I have found uh, recently. Um with you guys so um i am all set up but uh but yeah okay so first of all i was um i was inside a thrift store and i did not had nothing i had nothing i hadn't found anything and then uh they had brought out a cart and um so i walked over there so i always tell you if there is if they're bringing out carts that's like the newest stuff right and so I walked over to the cart and I about died <laughs> is what happened. Um, so obviously the same house, somebody was cleaning out one house. So um, because it's all kind of the same thing and all the same, um, it's just all old. So all of these came from one cart in a thrift store. <clears throat> and I'm just so excited. So, I mean, I just want to, I'll just start sharing. I basically... Um, not this magazine. I don't know why that's there. Let me just show you this stack of vintage games and puzzles. And here's even more. So the boxes alone make me so happy. Like I just love the designs on the old boxes and people display these just, you know, like, like this, just with the old, um, just so you can see the boxes look at this old puzzle like what and again the sides are for the age of these i couldn't believe how well they were still intact and here's another one um an old this is called a picture interlocking picture puzzle like i want to um i mean look at the puzzle So I was there, I didn't have a cart or anything with me and I couldn't get these in my hands fast enough. Um, so I grabbed, there were other like newer games, just these you guys are so fun to decorate with. Um, and you usually don't find the instructions, the box intact, um, but then here's an old cribbage. We love to play cribbage in our house. Um, that's a question I should ask. What's your family's favorite game? Uh, what do you guys like to play together? Um, this old box of checkers. Look at this box of dominoes. You guys, I mean, I, the boxes alone, like, and I knew there was stuff in them, but, and they're full, like it, the, it's all in there. Okay. So then let me tell you what I did. Here's another Magna Dominoes. Um, so what I did was um, I had kind of been throughout the entire store and um, and then I saw these and I thought, what are the odds? So I went back to the game section um, because uh, the lady that had brought out the cart, she did, I did notice her walk away from it. Um, I went to the game section. She had put some of these already away. So if you ever find a cart that's got something like this, maybe it's like old Ironstone or it's like these games, head over to that section and see if some of it, maybe from a previous cart, had, has already been put away um, because I was able to find some more things I'll show you here that were already in the game section. So look at this. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this. What? How are these all still intact? I love this one too. So this is an old puzzle. 29 cents. I mean, what? And just the old boxes. Um, this one was super exciting. So this was the first one I saw. This pink thing is not original, obviously, but they knew the original box was kind of not in great um, 
not in great condition, so they put it all in this box. But, oops, I kind of have this backwards, sorry. So there are these old, oh my God. <laughs> right, right? So there are all of these. Here are two of the wooden balls. And then inside here, oh my gosh. I just, I could not. I was beside myself. Okay, and then I have, I have four more to show you. So look at this thing. So I brought it home and Matt's like, are those plastic? Uh, no, they're glass. These are glass in here and they're all, I mean, I don't know if the kids played with these games or if somebody, there's another little thing in here too. Does anybody remember these games? Uh, did you have these games? None of these I recognize. I swear my grandma had a cootie game uh, or something similar to that uh, when we were growing up. And then look at this bingo. What? <laughs> look at this. Um, we did have, a my grandma did have like a bingo game too. That was so, that was... But it was actually like that turn wheel thing, not like this. And then, so um, when I went over to the um, the games, why are these in this? I don't know. Maybe the bag was broken. But these are the wood. Here's wood game pieces. Now, again, people decorate with just these. You can put them in a jar. Um, and then look at this bag. More wood, old pieces and corn so there was this was probably used for the bingo games um but then i found all of these old wood game pieces what literally had nothing in my hands they brought that out kind of at the end when i was kind of leaving and i found all these in there so exciting another thing i found was this hammered copper like bucket thing. I have some wood beads in here from something I was working on with the brass handle. Think Christmas tree in this thing, right? So the handle does move. Wouldn't the Christmas tree be so pretty in this? So I grabbed that. And then I did grab a couple of these. I'm only finding one right now. The other one must be upstairs. Um, there may be a project coming with these soon. And then these, you can do so much with these little tin um, molds. There's different sizes and stuff in here. So I grabbed those. Uh, and then I found, this is all I have down here right now to share. I found this guy with the lid. I never find the lid. Stamped USA on the bottom. Um, but the lid's never on there, ever, ever, ever. So I was excited to find that. And that is just, oh no, here's another thing. I always look for old wool plaid or, I mean, they don't have to be wool, but plaid blankets. Um, I have a nice little collection coming, but now I get to shop for you guys because I am, um, you can shop some of these items on Wednesday at noon central time. I will have some of these things available on my shop page. And I did link that above, but um, I think that's it. That's all that's down here right now. So I would love to know what's your favorite find that I shared here what, or what your fam family's favorite game is. Or do you recognize any of these games like in these boxes or these puzzles? Um, what are the odds? Carom board. I have a carom board in my attic still in the box. That's yes, that is some of these pieces that I shared this. These. They just look so cool, just like in a um, in a dish. I'm gonna go through the cootie game. Laura played the cootie game. <clears throat> I don't. I don't think my grandma had this one, but um, there was something similar. Can you guys remember cootie? Yes. Yeah, so somebody probably. It always, it always kills me because somebody probably just cleaned out somebody's house and just was like, didn't want any of these. And they're just, they're so cool. Puzzles, Bev, we love puzzles in the winter time for sure. 
I remember playing dominoes with my grandma. She used to do, but it was like, not, I don't, I, I mean, I don't know. I think there's different dominoes games, but like you would just have a few dominoes. And then like, if your number matched up with the number that was just played, then you put it on the table. That's how we did it. I don't know if that's, um, Darla, if everything's backwards, it's just because my screen is, yeah, that, that's how it happens. I didn't turn the screen, but, um, Nova Scotia. Oh my gosh. What's the weather like there now? I'm just sharing my latest thrift, uh, thrift haul, Sherry. That's what I'm sharing. The things that I found. So the Karen boards, I'm going to have to look and see what they are. As soon as I see them, I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember. I, I know what they, they are now. I can't picture them off the top of my head, but, um, but, but so cool to just have wood game pieces. Uh, my favorite is probably the wood, um, little bowling pins. I mean, these are just so cool. The other ones are all, I mean, they're smaller, but they're so cool as well. But these, I just love the look of these as they are. Um, but yes. Okay, I thought since I haven't shared a haul with you guys here in a while, I would come on and do that. Um, but I will be back this week with more projects and more um, more ideas to share with you guys. But that's it. That's all I have to share this morning. It's not a huge haul. There will be some other things. Definitely, if you're on Instagram, definitely check the shop this week because um, I have been decorating for Christmas and I've been going through, you know, my Christmas totes and things. And I have been picking up stuff all year round that I had forgotten about. And so there will be, if you love vintage Santa, Santa mugs, there will be those on the shop. Um, and there's going to be, um, Sherry, I'm sorry. I don't know which, which group are you talking about? I, I, I'm sorry. I just don't understand your question. Um, but anyway, so there will be a lot of other things besides this uh, on the shop page this Wednesday um, at noon central time. So definitely check it out if, if, if you're interested. So you're welcome, Michelle. Thank you for being here. That's how we play dominoes as well. The weather here in Nova Scotia is extremely warm plus. Oh, 78. That's nice. That's nice. Um, okay, so that is... <clears throat> All right. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm going to hop off here. I just wanted to share that with you. It was a fun haul that I didn't expect at all as I was walking out of the thrift store. Um, and I will talk with you guys. I will talk with you guys soon, share some more ideas and stuff, um, hopefully this week.